Um, we ordered a pizza for dinner, so we ordered a pizza. Now, this is a great example in branding, and um, Linda knows this, of course, the branding queen. So the pizza, here's, the, here's the, the, the pizza number. box's name is Hell. Hell. Hell, Hell pizza, Hell. and it's got flames all over the front of the box, which is kind of cool. Phone and number. then on the side, the phone number is zero eight hundred six 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 one one one. So you know the devil's number. And then you know it's got hell written on here, the web address and everything else. So they've gone all out with the branding. Hello. They've gone all out with the branding on the box. But here's the really neat thing. I'm looking at the box, and I say, "What's this? There's got something here." And Linda, Linda points it out straight away. What it is, is you can pop out from the box like that this whole little die cut template and then you can fold it up <laughs> into a coffin so you actually make a coffin for your the remains of your pizza which I reckon is pretty darn funky so let's just fold these down fold that in like so This is rather macabre, I think. Rather? <laughs> Only in New Zealand. Only in New Zealand. I was at the function the day afterwards, and um, after the, the first day of the conference, and they had drinks and nibblies. <laughs> the drinks were being served by the school kids. In school uniform, the whole ridiculous. And how old were they? Oh, I don't know, 15, 14, 15, something like that. What's the drinking age in New Zealand? 10? <laughs> Uh, they just didn't seem to have a problem with the fact that kids are around alcohol, like in every other country. You know, they have a big issue with that sort of stuff, just allowing kids to be in the same space as alcohol. Uh, yes, interesting. Show us the finished but product. There you go, there's the finished product for, the wall. for your remains. Mm. <laughs> I said I really wanted some something for dinner and he said, well, go order it. And I said, no, you order it. And he said, no, you order it. And I said, oh, let's just okay. order it. And he said, go to hell. So we did. Uh, uh, it didn't really happen, no, did it? No, it didn't. Right, so there we go. There's the, what's left of the hell pizza box. I've got the dots for what's in the box with the hots. <laughs> yes. That's not part of their branding. I think that's full of Chris Betcher branding. But tell us about the contest that they uh, promoted with the pizza. So the contest that you get with the pizza, you get a, a, a voucher number, which you then go onto their website and type in the voucher number, and you can win. The first prize is a trip to Las Vegas for two and $13,000. But the rule is you have to bet the $13,000 on black 13 on the roulette wheel. Mm. The whole 13. And if you win, it's like $455,000. And if you lose, of course, you lose it. Um, but you've got a free trip to Sin it's City. It's roulette. You're most likely to lose it. <laughs> well, you just have to choose it carefully. So, um, yeah, you get the free trip. But, yeah, interesting promotion, giving you $13,000 to say mm -hmm. go and, you know, bet the lot. And we're talking about it. So, you know, there is a component of this from the marketing expert in the room, of the, uh, this that certainly works. So, mm -hmm. unique, interesting just a little bit different, although, yes, I'd have to agree it is a bit macabre, but hey, we're in New Zealand. <laughs> Where black is the new and the old black.